thanks very much for coming. And uh, I don't know if it's a short notice and uh, not normally done in Brisbane. It's just happened to be where I am at the time. Um, the reason for just calling the media conference this morning is just to put out another appeal to the public. But um, in particular, on this occasion, uh, we we have another location where the where the missing persons Volvo station wagon may have been located. Now, as we know at this point, the Volvo uh, station wagon was located in Bowden Court um, at Narang uh, last Monday night. The information we have at this stage would suggest that the car probably didn't arrive in Bowden Court until Saturday, Saturday the, uh, the 9th of February. And we have uh, reason to believe that the vehicle may at some stage have been in uh, Copps Road, that's K-O-P-P-S Road at Oxenford which is a, um, a road that runs in behind Movie World out at Oxenford. It's a sort of a semi-rural, fairly, fairly isolated area. What we're asking uh, you to do for us today is to put out an appeal to the public um, for anybody who may have seen the missing persons um, Volvo, which is a 2009 Midnight Blue Volvo XC90 wagon. Uh, although it's a Midnight Blue, it can appear black. Uh, anybody who saw that vehicle on Copps Road at Oxenford any time after uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday the 6th of February, late in the evening, through to uh, Saturday the 9th of February. Now, um, I think the media already have uh, photographs of the vehicle, but I, but I do have some, some, other some other photographs here um, that I can either let you take photographs of here or um, I can email them to you if that's, uh, if that's preferred. Okay. Um, I can also show you, I've got a bit of a map here where I can show you where Coffs Road is, if that helps at all too. So. Um, th that's the purpose of, the, uh, of the, um, the conference today. We would just like to get that out there. It's important to us that if anybody saw the vehicle in Coffs Road, K-O-P-P-S Road, uh, between those times, Wednesday night to Saturday, um, we'd like them to call Crime Stoppers or contact the local police. Well, um, we have received information from the public. We've received quite a lot of information from the public. Uh, it's taken a while, obviously, to sift through that. Um, but we have reason to believe from information received that, that the vehicle may have been in Copps Road um, prior to the Saturday. So we're, we're looking to get more support for that, uh, anybody who may have seen it. Obviously, anybody that was in Copps Road in the early hours of Thursday morning, the 7th of February, we'd be keen on speaking to those people as well. Uh, well, as I say, we, we've had a very good response from the public through Crime Stoppers. We've had um, lots of information come in. Some of those um, pieces of information did relate to possible sightings. We have, uh, we, we continue and we have already run some of those uh, inquiries out, but at this stage, none have proven um, fruitful. Do you have any information on where they came in? Look, in, in any, in any um, investigation of this type, we will identify a number of persons of interest very, very quickly in the investigation, and that's that's normal routine, and um, and that's no different in, the in this investigation. So um, we have identified a number of persons of interest, and in the, in these early days, our time is taken up with um, basically gathering as much information as we can in um, pinning down people's movements and uh, and obtaining versions. So a number of people have been identified, and, and the investigations are still continuing along those lines. Well, uh, yes, a, as I say, in, in investigations like this, um, we identify a number of persons of interest. Obviously, uh, the last person who saw the missing person would be a person of interest to us. And the information we have at this stage is that, uh, is that um, Novi's husband was the last person to see her. So, so it um, goes without saying that he would be a person that we would be interested in. Why did police uh, still issue the business? Um, again, that's, that's normal. Um, uh, routine inquiries in this type of investigation th for the same reason that we, uh, we had the house under examination for a week. Uh, the, the, the first uh, week or so of an investigation like this is important to us because that's when we can gather the most information and the most relevant information. So, so obviously we, we need to do those things early in the piece. So examination of the house and the business is just normal routine investigation. 
Uh, there has been some um, searching by police in that area, but there may very well be more. Um, I haven't been out there myself, it, but my understanding is it's, it's, it is a bitumen road, but it's in a, a like a semi-rural area. Uh, there's a lot of vacant areas uh, beside the road. Um, I think if, p if people were to drive down that road and a Volvo station wagon was parked on the side of the road, they would notice it. Um, it's probably not what you would expect to see there. So again, we would um, make that appeal to any member of the public who was there between the Wednesday night and any time on Saturday uh, who may have seen the vehicle to come forward or anybody that was actually just on Copps Road in the early hours of the Thursday morning, the 7th of February. Well, you know, the investigation is still, um, although we're now a couple of weeks um, since she's been missing, it's still in its early stages, so anything's possible. Anything's possible at this point. Just recently, yep, just recently. Yes, yes. Oh well, well, it's it's always a missing person while she remains missing. But um, you know, we we obviously look at the worst case scenario, and uh, um, and we investigate it as if it is the worst case scenario. So that's what we're doing. And until she's located, we, we'll continue to do that. What are your hopes for the circumstances that arise now? Well, you know, look, I'd love her to turn up tomorrow and say, here I am. You know, I'm sorry for all the trouble. But as time passes, I think that's less likely. Okay. All right. Thanks very much. Sorry, um, have you pushed on any case on here recently? Uh, we have on, we, we're having ongoing negotiations with uh, with Mr. Chardon, mainly through his solicitor, through convenience here. Um, we're not exactly sure when he's going to be back, but we expect it'll be in the near future, and uh, and we look forward to uh, sitting down and having a chat with him then.